We get asked a lot how we find a lot of our old cars, and specifically the old Volkswagens. With our line of work, we're constantly buying cars from states all around where we live, specifically newer vehicles that are damaged, which we in turn repair and resell. Many times the cost to have these vehicles shipped back to our shop is two to three times what it would cost for us just to drive up and pick the car up ourselves. And while this takes us away from the shop, sometimes for a full day to go and get a car, it also gives us the opportunity to drive some of the back roads on our way to and from the auction. And you guessed it, look for old cars. Give an example of a couple of vehicles that we found on our last trip. Uh, one was this uh, pop top camper, this uh, VW Bay Window Westphalia. Um, up the road a couple hours from that was this original paint uh, Volkswagen Beetle that was complete minus the wheels and tires that had been pulled off for another project. And uh, for you Mopar guys out there, this one might uh, get your blood churning. Uh, this is a 1969 Charger uh, 440RT uh, original owner car with 44,000 original miles. this particular trip I was on my way to Helena Montana to pick up a Subaru that I had purchased with some front-end damage. Um, as I was driving through uh, this one part of uh, Montana, it's pretty desolate, not a lot out there. There was a little town that I'd, I'd been through multiple times. I knew of a couple of Volkswagens there, but uh, you know I wasn't getting anywhere with any of the owners. A lot of times finding an abandoned vehicle, sitting in a field, somebody's backyard that's the easy part now talking them into selling that vehicle to you is sometimes not so easy a lot of these people have sentimental attachments to these vehicles or hopes and dreams of someday restoring the car themselves another thing you run into is people that sit at home and watch TV programs like Pawn Stars and they saw a Volkswagen bus on Pawn Stars last week and the guy offered 150 grand now they think theirs is worth that as well. So with the last minute as I was passing this town, I decided to take the exit and go and do a little looking on the opposite side of town where I hadn't been before. I call it acting on a hunch. My wife, however, likes to tease me and call me the bus whisperer. All teasing aside, this hunch paid off because not less than a mile from the off-ramp was this 1968 Deluxe that had been sitting in the same spot since 1990. And unlike so many of my previous experiences where it took me literally weeks, sometimes months, to get a hold of the owner, five minutes after I got there, an employee of the owner pulled up on a bicycle. I handed him a business card, told him I was interested in the bus, and he told me that he would pass it along to the owner. I got back in the truck, and before I had even got back on the freeway, the owner was on the phone with me. I agreed to his ask price, a couple weeks later after he had rounded up the title, we headed back up there to pick up the bus. Well there you have it, uh, guarantee you there are still some deals out there. There's still vehicles that have been sitting for 20, 30 plus years. And if you get out and uh, hit some back roads and uh, do a little bit of searching on your own, I guarantee you you're going to find some good deals in your area. So get out there and save some buses and uh, comment below and tell us what you find. Thanks for watching and uh, we'll talk to you later.